Hello and welcome to Arnachal Mirror. First book reading session at Rero's Realm with Mamang Dai. A book which has a compilation of the writings of women from Arnachal Pradesh. The Inheritance of Words, writing from Arnachal Pradesh. Let's have a look. interesting uh, project you know brought up by Zuban publishers they're a feminist publishing house in New Delhi and Urvashi is a good friend though I've never written uh, you know for them they said at least do one for uh, you know, collection of women's writings which is in a series so I said okay we have a lot of young poets both men and women lyricists but this series was uh, focused on women's writings. Uh, they had already done two volumes, one from Nagaland and one from Manipur. So when I reached out and I tried to get, uh, you know, to represent all the uh, districts, and Arunachal is quite big, you know, and you, we hadn't heard of many uh, writers from uh, say the eastern part of Arunachal, you know, Anjao, Lohit, but there are contributions from Tirap, also from Lohit, a representative, you know, of the entire state. So I think this is uh, quite an important initiative, you know, the first of its kind, and bringing young writers, because once you see your work, your words in print, uh, you have a different sense of responsibility, you know, as a writer, as a poet. And I think literature is uh, important uh, for so many reasons, but uh, especially because it is a way of connecting thoughts and ideas and also occupying that space for public discourse. We need to talk about so many issues and the generation of writers will be the witnesses of you know the changes in a society anywhere in the world and that is how writing will come about so ma'am what is this book about the content the content is there is a lot of research based essays because people are still working with the material we have you know which is basically the oral tradition and then uh, there are uh, scholars also doing, you know, trying to look at who were the earlier writers we had, the indigenous writers. So there is research there. Another important thing I think that I was uh, happy to see was there is a lot on uh, language. There, is, uh, there are essays on linguistic transitions, which uh, the authors were not here today. There are others questioning, you know, the environment for mother tongue in Arunachal Pradesh. And then, of course, the old uh, traditions and rituals, which are now being captured maybe for the first time in a process of creative writing, but transcribed into the print and into another language. I think that is also an evolution taking place. There are lullabies. You know, uh, and uh, memories of uh, times gone. A lot of submissions were poetry, but to uh, make it in the book, I had to select just one or two, you know, even though authors had submitted quite a good number of poems, but we hope that will come in, you know, in future times. It's a wonderful breather for the city and the state. And because this is the pub first, uh, you know, publication uh, for Arunachal by Zuban and a collection of uh, poetry and uh, prose by uh, 
the younger generation of uh, you know Arunachali women. Uh, I personally admire uh, all the people who have contributed, and I congratulate Juban and uh, the team which has uh, done the reading and uh, you know signing today. And it's it's a very welcome uh, break for I think uh, especially feminist literature uh, in the state. And most of the uh, like contents here relates with uh, culture and the language and all. So how do you see young people coming up and giving importance to their own culture? And how do you see the future down the line? Like amidst this. Uh, controversial bill that is coming up, like uh, overall, as you have mentioned in your speech, that uh, whatever we experience, it will come in the form of a written word, and it's very important as well. So how do you see the overall uh, scenario that has taken place? Changes happen, and traditions and cultures, they have all gone through changes. And as they say, change is the only constant in human civilization. And uh, for us to be rooted in our traditions, in our cultures, is very important as tribals, you know. Our ethnicity uh, is something which must this, uh, stand the test of time. As a human civilization which is undergoing all the pressures and the dynamics, experiencing all the dynamics of a globalized world today, and uh, no one can stop the changes. Uh, as, as an elder today, as a grandmother, I would love my future generations to be proud of the changes that has uh, happened uh, in our tribal world, in a state like Arunachal or the Northeastern tribal states. Uh, you know, our contributions as a human society uh, towards a better, uh, more uh, egalitarian uh, world uh, should be something our traditions uh, should speak about at this point of time. And uh, the literature of this present times is something uh, which the future generations are going to look at. And they, then they will decide if uh, whatever happened was uh, something to be proud of or not. So I, I feel uh, we cannot stop any kind of change despite all the uh, misgivings and apprehensions. And it's for the state's uh, leaders, especially the visionary leaders, uh, to uh, kind of uh, assuage, assuage the you know, misgivings.